Hello, good day to you. Today, uh, I'll be doing a demonstration on Perf Basics. So this is part of my series about Linux performance analysis. So Perf is one of the most important tools that you can use, you know, for performance analysis on Linux servers. Uh, I'll be demonstrating how to install it and also be showing some common commands and options that you can use with Perf. So uh, let us actually go. So this is the official page for Perf. So it describes, you know, what Perf command is and, you know, how to use it. So, so on this page, you see something like, uh, this is the wiki page for Linux Perf command, also called Perf events. So it said Perf is powerful. It can instrument CPU performance can performance counters, trace points, K probes, and U probes. So it is capable of doing lightweight profiling. Uh, so and what does that mean? Is that you know it can get information it can get data you know from different sources from hardware and software and you know give it to us you know present present it to us so that we can understand we can gain visibility into the performance of maybe a, an application or a particular command also if you run man if you do man on perf so you see if some basic information about Perf is a performance analysis tools for Linux. And if you go to description, it says Perf performance counters for Linux are new kernel based subsystem that provide a framework for all things performance analysis. So that is a performance counters. So the, these performance counters are generally from the performance monitoring unit. So performance monitoring unit is a, um, you know, it's it's a, it's a newer unit, you know, on newer CPUs. Uh, there's a particular unit now called performance monitoring unit, and Perf can also you know get information from software, you know, things like trace points and K probes and U probes. So, like I said here. Or path, you know, make use of data from performance monitoring units, you know, to basically give us uh, statistics on how our application is performing. So let's talk about how you can install it. So the way you install path depends on the distro that you are on. So if you are on Ubuntu, you have to install it from the Linux tools dash or uh, the kernel version. If you're on Fedora, you can simply do uh, yum install perf or dnf install perf. So I am on Ubuntu here. So let's look. My system is actually uh, version 16.10 of Ubuntu. So uh, so to install perf, you have to do yum install Linux tools, then dash the dash then you have to append the version of your kernel so to get the version of your kernel you can do your name dash r so to install it now to be linux tools dash you know this uh, version of the kernel and you can press enter so uh sorry i am on ubuntu so i have to use out yeah sorry about that so I actually have already installed, you know, this tool. I have installed this package. So I have perf. So and to interact with perf first, we can run perf help, and this we can get help. So perf, what well, you know, the command works with the some commands. So perf has, you know, it's like its own command that you can run, and the commands are outlined here. So uh, I'll be demonstrating a couple of these commands. I'll be demonstrating like five of them. And uh, you, if you want to interact with the other ones, you can definitely do so. So um, the first one that I'll be showing here 
is called start i think this is like the most common command so for example if you run ls on your system you know ls uh list the directory but if you want to analyze what actually goes on you can run perf start on ls so then after listing the directory it will also show you the performance you know counter statistics you know for ls so you see things like contest switches the cpu migration page fault cycles number of instructions branches branch misses so this is a lot of information about uh, what happens when i run ls so let's actually do something maybe that will give us a little bit more more data so let's run path start on dd so dd let's copy some bytes from dev zero uh, let's copy it to i'll call it demo zeros uh, so the block size i'll make it one gigabyte the count i'll make it two so basically what i'm doing is i'm copying two gigabyte of or byte you know from dev zero to this file called dev uh, sorry called demo zeros so and i'm going to run path start on that so let's do it so uh the command is running and as it is running the path is also gathering statistics you know, on this command so it's going to report the, the statistics so i'll be able to understand so like you see uh, i have the statistics i have the task the clock context switches cpu migration page fault so all these uh, statistics you know another name that you, we usually call them is events events so uh there can be a lot of events there are, actually there are a lot of events and i will show you how you can learn about some of this event and you can focus on a particular event also so but uh let's let me show another command so that will i will show you you know what, what else we can do so let's look at record record is rather than you know giving us the output like this we can record the output you can report you can record it and by default it will be stored in a file called perf.data so let's do a record so rather than giving us the output it is going to store the output in a file and we can look at the file and the file that will be generated is going to be a binary file so we have to use perf report to look at the file so so for example now it has captured he said captured and wrote 0 0.18 megabyte of and stored in perf data so to look at this file actually you have to run perf report dash i to specify the particular file so so as you can see look at you know this file uh i have an analysis of you know what actually goes on i have you know the the things that actually the events the events that you know that had the biggest impact you know are listed up above and uh then there then there are some other event also that we can look at so this is how to basically record and report and report about about you know particular uh, uh command or application <laughs> yeah sorry uh yeah so the next command that i'll be talking about is list so path list so like i said uh events are what are shown here but there are a lot of events actually there are a lot of events you can you know look at so for example branch instruction cache references cache misses or uh, contest switches emulation faults 
Uh, so these are like hardware events. Then there are some other events also, kernel PMU event. So like I said, there's something called performance monitoring units. So this is something like kernel PMU event. Then you see something like trace points. Also, trace points are very important in Linux performance analysis. I will do another video to talk about them. So, um, so you see, you have trace points, you know, things re referring to SFX. So these are like, um, the maybe you have a disk I.O. going on. So these are like events. So the various events basically that takes place. So if you want to focus on a particular event, you know, like when we run Path Start, we can actually focus on a particular event. For example, let's say we want to focus on context switches we can use our uh, context switches or cs cs is another uh, short form of it so we can focus on cs basically and when we, if we run the start again we are only going to get information about context switches that happens so uh, you see the pattern you have path you know start the the event and the command so the command can be any command that you want to run so you see for example i have 1911 context switches uh, during this period which is 11 seconds so that is uh that is that so let us go on let us talk about so i have talked about start i've talked about record I've talked about list to list events. I've talked about report to read uh, the recorded uh, data. So let's talk about trace. So trace is actually for, so if you have used S trace before, S trace is a, another tool you know, that you can use to understand the system calls, the uh, system makes. So Perf acts as its own version which is called perf trace so you can do path trace let's say on ls so you see these are like the uh system calls that we called you know when we run ls and you see the time you can see an indication of time so you can know know the um maybe the system call that actually takes you know the most of the time so for example let me run trace on dd here so you see you see there's a particular call here that actually takes a lot of time so you see there are some calls that takes you know more time than the other calls so these are means you know by which you can understand you know how your system works you know what system calls actually uh takes the most of the time so so i've talked about this these are very common commands uh that you should be familiar with so i will be talking briefly about some options i, I have talked about dash e to specify a particular event so dash a is to specify that you want this performance analysis to be done on all cpus so if you have multiple cpus for example on my system i have uh, about four cpus so i i needed i will need to specify a that so that what whatever analysis i'm doing should be done on all the cpus so dash p is very important actually i find it to be extremely important and it is used to specify the process ID of a running process. So if you have noticed that we have been running perf, you know, then we supply a particular command. What if you have an application that is already running? For example, a web server, maybe a database or some other application that it's already running, but you want to analyze it. So for example, on my system, I have a Firefox. Let me look at oh sorry i have to grab let me grab i want to grab for so i have a firefox actually running 
this is the process id of my firefox so like let's say i want to do the performance analysis of my firefox i can specify dash a to specify that i want it on all the cpus i can specify dash d to tell it that i want it to be detailed then dash p to specify the uh, process id of this firefox so let's run it let me try to generate some event on my firefox so this is my firefox let me try to reload so like i said on the uh, centos or federal system if you want to install perf you can do yum install perf or dnf install perf so uh, let me go back let me control c to end so you see uh these are the performance statistics about firefox you know during that period of time so you have things about the cache misses uh context switches so context you know things like context switches page fault cache misses you know there are things that have uh effect on the performance of your application so the other option here is dash t dash t is actually for trade you know if you have a particular trade that if you know of a particular uh trade the trade id so you can specify dash t for example when i specify dash t here you can specify dash t if you have a particular trade or uh, or trade id that you want to analyze so basically that is uh, the basic introduction to perf uh, we have covered how to install perf then we have covered some basic command of perf some very common options uh, we talked about events we talked about performance monitoring units uh, we talked about start record report lists and trace so um this is just to give you a, a very basic introduction to perf perf is a very uh is an advanced tool uh and it's it can be used for advanced you know anal analysis of uh, operate, uh linux operating system you know for you to really really understand uh what goes on in your system and um, it has a lot of uses so i hope you find this introduction useful and benef uh, i hope it benefits you so if you have any question let me know put it in the comment section if you have any correction omission addition subtraction or uh, or comments you know put it in the comment section and thank you for watching uh, if you like this video you can like click the like button uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye.